What is up? Crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers, I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and we've got more freaking SCX24s on the freaking mountain, on the freaking rocks, in the backyard. Mike's just starting us off here. I believe he's running 3S on this uh, Lizard Pro Nano, or not, not a Nano, uh, with the Endura Pro brushed motor. Uh, just wanted to show the, the buttery smoothness of it. Just amazing, just so good. So quiet, just clean. Look at it go, dude. Just controlled, very, very good co combination. Really uh, happy with that. I'll have to try it out. And it's super fast, dude. I don't know if he was that was 2 or 3S. I'm pretty sure that was 3S. So sorry we didn't get a speed run. I don't know what happened, dude. Uh, I thought I got one, but uh, apparently I didn't. So just showing off the slowness. And there we go. We got Purple Maximus, dude, on the rocks, running 2S. Lizard Pro Nano. We stripped the freaking gears, so we're making crazy noises. I do apologize for the dumb noise, bro. Apologize. Forgive me, dude, but, 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 hold on. Uh, not that it's less noisy necessarily, but, but, hold on. I got a bulletproof transmission from MoFo, hashtag go team MoFo. Uh, and uh, that is in Maximus. Maximus is now running again. So stop right here. Last week was a bit rough. So I had a whole bunch of work to do at the house drywall, floor, whatever, dude, in the back hallway. We had uh, a water leak at one point, had a little bit of mold going on, whatever, dude. Had to get that fixed. So last week, right, dude, dude, I'm sorry I missed you guys, dude. I so much missed you. I wish I could have got more videos out. But at the same time, cars broke, not working, made a mistake, burned an ESC, two freaking servos. It was a bad day. Bummer deal, bro. So, <laughs> but we got that fixed. Dude, shout out to Tony from Furitech. Uh, man, he sen he's uh, he's sending me out a new ESC. I appreciate that, man. It was my fault. I told him it was my fault, and he's still sending me another ESC. So I sure do appreciate you, Tony. Uh, I do. Uh, that's that's what we're running now. We have uh, f what four. We're gonna be running four uh, Lizard Pros. Uh, can't say enough about them, dude. They're awesome, awesome ESCs, super tiny. Uh, all the ones I have are V1s, so I cannot comment oh, on a yeah. V2, but the V1s, bro, super duper good. Uh, you just saw, I think every car on here, no, 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 uh, the, the Jeep, the JLU, and uh, Maximus, the F-150, are running Lizard Pros, uh, and I'm running a Nano Beast uh, in Maximus, and I believe that the JLU Michael is running a uh, is running a Micro Komodo, and then in the very front, I believe Craig is still running a Pro in that car. Uh, I don't know if he converted it yet. I'm pretty sure he did convert it over to the Lizard Pro as well. Not positive. Uh, I think he was going to do that. So uh, let's go, Mike. A little bit of a struggle there. Dude, you can't really see it here. There's holes there, all in there. You if you don't straddle them, you are screwed. Uh, V-notches and holes. Cracks. Nasty, bro. Naughty, nasty lines. So, but you know that, dude. You're not new. You're not. And if you are, dude, <laughs> welcome, bro. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for hanging out. I'd love to... Uh, Check out your channel if you got one. Uh, I'd love to hear more about it. So why don't you just go ahead and put a comment down there. Uh, we can have a nice little chat, dude. Tell me about your ride. Also, dude, uh, subscribe. Uh, this little red button there. Subscribe. Hit it with your finger. I sure would appreciate it, dude. Trying to reach goals. Hashtag goals. We got dreams. Uh, trying to go by 821. We only have like two weeks left, dude. Two oh, weeks. Great. Tell our goal. We need 100 subs, man. Like 110. 110 subs, dude. Let's go, folks. Help me out, man. Share these videos. So again, if you have not already, please subscribe. I would love it. All right, dude. Let's go. That's enough. Oh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, dude. Share it. You got a group, whatever, Facebook, Instagram. Hook me up, bro. Help me out. Help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? Be freaking rad. Just trying to reach my goal, buddy. Let's go, Michael, master of the slow crawl. He loves going slow, dude. Uh, but I think we all do. That's why we're here, going slow. So he's running in the JLU. He has the Endura Plus 4 axles. <laughs> and uh, really like those. Uh, so it's interesting just watching him. You know, um, 
I had never really used a car before the SCX24s with uh, wheel extensions or hex extensions or anything like that. Uh, so uh, no, I wasn't used to the tire scrub, but, and I thought that it would be a great idea to get rid of it and in uh, with those Endura axles. And if you watch, it is good, uh, but it's also interesting that um, you know, there are things that uh, yeah. benefits that you get from the tire scrub, uh, little army crawl well, actions and different things that actually do really right. help you. So it's not scale. Uh, Michael is definitely, those plus fours are definitely going to help you to stay scale while gaining a little bit of width. Uh, definitely. Uh, and I'm not saying that they are a bad thing. I think that they are great. It's just an interesting thing uh, to note when I knew that it was a bad thing uh, going in that the tire scrub is not a good thing or whatever. You, It's not, a, not as precise. Um, however, at the same time, having the long throw on your steering, again, makes for, you know, it can be detrimental, uh, but it can also be, uh, you know, just a tool that you can use. So, uh, like all these things, there's compromises, man. You, you know, you win some and you lose some, you know, on some of these choices. You know, there's not a right choice. There's not a right way to build it. Uh, it's just how you build it and then how you're going to overcome uh, the things that come along with that. Are you just going to suck it up and take it and you can't make right. that climb? Or are you going to come up with something creative uh, to allow you to keep the, the thing that you want uh, and then also still make that climb, you know? Right. And so... Uh, you know, there's just hit and miss things. There's all kind of different, you know, uh, the different terrain. You know, I like having the loose rocks right next oh, to the no. smooth mountain range. And uh, because the two surfaces are completely different, you know, uh, having one setup, you know, having a low LCG setup is going to uh, work uh, all over the mountain range. Nice tight suspension. Uh, you're going to be able to flow uh, around the mountain as far as, you know, take the side hills and things like yeah. that. Uh, you know, but then uh, you're not going to do near as well uh, in the loose rock. And I found that out for myself. Uh, somebody asked, I saw in the comments, I didn't answer. Sorry, I missed a whole bunch of comments this week and uh, didn't respond. I'll, try, I'll probably try to catch up even though it's like a week. I had some, I saw in there seven days, bro. I'm sorry, man, that I didn't get the comment uh, and respond back to you guys, dude. Again, just had lots going on, bro. So, oh, let's go, Mike. Yeah, you gotta keep your tire. Okay, so we were talking about the tight suspension. So, um, uh, you know, I went with the LCG, uh, personal homemade LCG chassis, uh, which is just the stock chassis with the relocated uh, ESC tray, really. Uh, that's all that that is. And uh, really just change two screw holes, dude. That's all you need. And then the smooth skid, bro, and your LCG king, bro. That's really all you need. Uh, and so, but when I did that, I wanted to make it tight, you know, go LCG full belly dragger. And uh, so I tightened down the suspension with the spring mod and maybe seven coils or something. I didn't count them. I just kept pulling them up and it was really tight. And uh, again, I had, uh, there was, there's performance to be gained uh, by doing that. Um, but none of that could be seen on uh, any of my train. Uh, because I was just super low, my suspension could not drop out when my uh, yeah, when yeah, my yeah, uh, yeah. belly did hang up. Uh, so I was just super tight, and so by now I've taken out mm, I don't know coil 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 and a half, uh, drop that down, and uh, just flexing around so much better, still controlled, uh, but just able to to control and just amazing. So I'm gonna probably try to get video as soon as this is done. I was just playing on the rocks. I didn't get to play it all yesterday, dude. I went all the way. I went all the way till I didn't get to bed till two o'clock yesterday. Long freaking day. We got a foreign exchange student from Italy. So that's what this is all about. This whole week was about getting ready for this kid, Leo. Welcome, Leo. Glad to have you, buddy. Uh, but yes, we put in a ton of work to get ready for Leo to be here. And uh, so anyways, he's here, long day yesterday. Uh, and uh, But we're ready to go, dude. Back on the rocks, we're freaking focused, dude. Got two weeks, hardcore, dude. Two weeks, it's Monday. Bro, happy Monday. Mm. Let's freaking get after it. Maybe you'll be watching this on Tuesday. Happy Tuesday or Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Dude, I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great time. We're about halfway through this video, dude. We're doing good. Okay, this is a little crack. Dude. You can only see that it's a crack when the guys actually fall in the hole because of the way I'm feeling it. 
But you have to stay straddled like any V. If you oh, don't I straddle it and just stay perfectly balanced, you're freaking screwed. Mike, in a narrow wheelbase, again, he's only plus four, and those Endura wheels are only adding like maybe like two millimeters from a completely flush, flat wheel. So you've got maybe plus two in those, in those uh, wheels. And so that's not enough to go across this, it seems. So it's a big crack. Uh, it's just not seemingly wide enough. So again, one of those things, dude, uh, just you got to know your course. You got to know uh, what what you're setting up for. I hear a lot of people talking about, oh, well, this is the best or, oh, these tires are, are good or bad or whatever. Dude, terrain. It's about terrain and setup, right? Terrain and setup, bro. <laughs> uh all about it, man. Uh, you can do have one tire here and it will do well, and then it will go over here and suck, you know. Uh, and so, in the loose rock section, um, for the most part, most tires do pretty well. The Endura 58s, the, he's running here. The other, well, the Crawler Master, the ATs or MTs or whatever the heck, they're 58 millimeter tires. Uh, I really like them. They really do well. Uh, you know, I, they're not as good as a trail warrior, you know, but maybe you can't run a tra trail warrior. Maybe the trail warrior is too wide for you. Maybe it's not scale enough, dude. I don't know. They are a good tire. They're a good option. No but at the same time, there are certain things that they will and won't do that's just frustrating. It's, it is pretty neat on the mountain range. They push and slide around. So there are tricks that you can do with those tires that you just can't do with the trail warriors because they grip too much. So there's cool things that you can do with those tires. Actually, uh, they actually, I do really like them for if you, if you're a wheel speed guy or whatever, although grip would probably be better. They handle spinning up really well. They don't throw you off the mountain when you spin them up. So that's a good thing. Uh, you know, where, especially with the flubber stuffers, not really the best idea to just floor it when you're lifted up in the mountain, the, the, on, you lift it up in the front end. So maybe not the bestest idea because they will squat and grip and throw you off, dude. So they like, like a lot of people say they are bouncy. So I'm going to continue running them for a little while in the back. And then I may uh, go ahead and swap them over in the rear um, and swap, put some uh, foams back in. I don't know if I'll put some CI foams, crawler innovations, or uh, just the stock foams. We'll see. Maybe uh, some broken stock foams uh, would be uh, good in the rear. I don't know. I'll just check that out. Uh, but they do grip in, the, in like the loose rock. Awesome. They do really, really well. Uh, but uh, just on the seat inclines on some of the smooth places on the mountain range <laughs> where you do need, maybe you need to push around or maybe you need, need a little wheel speed to, uh, you know, you didn't bump past a little thing and you need a little wheel speed to get past it. Um, you know, they can uh, start to bounce, uh, which can nice, be... Dude detrimental so uh just one of those things to be aware of with your flubber stuffers i don't think it's a problem in your front end most of the time it's just in the rear um and uh so one of the things i did hopefully you can see uh the trail warriors here running uh that i'm running in maximus uh the arrows all on the top of the tire pointing forward um one thing that i was trying to do uh i flipped the front tires around <laughs> hoping yeah, that dude. they will uh slightly out grip the fronts and uh, to try to keep the, the, the front end biting more and the back end uh, pushing less. So when your back end over grips the front, that's not good because that means off the mountain. That's, the same, that's why you run overdrive in the front end uh, to pull you up in that position when you get up and over, like right there. Looks good, dude. Great job, Maximus. Oh, I haven't hardly even talked about the video. There's so much going on, dude. That's what happens. I'm too excited, dude. I haven't seen you guys in forever. Oh, my gosh, dude. I haven't talked to you. I miss you so much. Right I'll give you a big hug, dude. No, I'm just kidding. Let's just go play RC cards. Maybe I could shake your hand. I could hug you, dude. I like I'm a hugger, dude. It's cool, you know. But if you're not, you know, we can fist bump. Whatever you want, dude. Uh, just if you were here, dude, we could play rock or play on the rocks, dude. Play cars, dude. It's awesome. Look at this. Hey, cool trick right here. If you're filming, I have my backlights that I use, uh, but then I also have my camera light. And so I usually run that at max volume and uh, it was not quite as good. So I've started backing it off and I think the shadows are a lot better. The allows the camera to work better and uh, it's not so overpowering. It almost looks like, uh, like daytime. So um, other than the white light reflection off of the, uh, 
off of the purple cap there. So oh, it's not the up. right color, dude. I probably could have gone. <laughs> what are you doing, Max? Freaking show off. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? Let's go, dude. Mike bringing up the rear. See what I'm saying? Watch those tires. See how they just kind of, kind of like uh, spin and kind of push around. Like he keeps moving forward. Well, he flipped off the hill, but you know, compared to the Trail Warriors, you watch them just, you know, they just keep grabbing. So, by the way, this is like uh, over a week old, dude. I got another video on Saturday, and by the way, dude, Craig brought out the mini pins from Endura. And out of the package, dude, he was, uh, I think he put the flubber stuffers, he put something else in the front end, whatever it was. And I don't know if they were stock foams or whatever in the back. They might've been CI foams. I don't know, he, he did something to the front ones uh, and left the back ones stock. And uh, out of the package, dude, like that, uh, they were right in with scrubbed in, or, you know, pretty broke in, uh, flubber stuffered, uh, slime balled, trail warriors so they're the best that i've tried on the mountain um and uh so for the pins out of the package no break in square edges uh to work as well as they did uh which you will be seeing the video please stay tuned i will bring that to you in a couple of days dude because i gotta make one uh i gotta get i gotta, gotta catch up where we're at dude holy crap anyways so much going on that's what happens dude when you go like a whole week dude we're coming up on it man we got a minute a little over a minute left, dude, in these videos. If you guys have any questions, just holler in the bottom about setup. Uh, I do have videos pretty much uh, on everything of what we have been running um, up to this point. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, from what I talked about, uh, you know, loosening up the socks. See, look at his, his rear tire is not even dropped down. So maybe he, he likes that. He likes carrying a tire. He likes staying stiff. I don't because it means more slipping around and whatever. So, although that, you know, tight suspension uh, helps on super steeps. Uh, at the same time, uh, it's kind of tippy and, you know, it's up to you, it's preference. Uh, I like my car to flex around Ooh. and move like a spider, yeah, move like water, gone, dude. And so uh, we were back to that with Maximus, back to a little bit more flowiness. And that's how it should be, buddy. Hill, Anyways, dude. I hope y'all out there keeping it freaking Texoma style, keeping it excited, dude. Slammed oh, in the hill. back, bro. The <laughs> Dude, charge your battery. Cut out in the exit, man. What the heck? Anyways, bro, I sure do appreciate y'all watching if you're still here. Y'all are my freaking favorite, bro. Thanks for being here. Thanks for participating in this as a viewer, as a commenter, as a subscriber, dude. And I hope y'all have a great week, dude. Peace, man. This is Joshua Texel Marcy. Thanks for watching, dude.